A coroner will tomorrow hand down his findings into the death of a North Queensland man tasered 28 times by police. It follows a CMC investigation which found more officers equipped with tasers and many offenders subjected to multiple hits. Ursula Haig has been examining the report. Antonio Galliano died on the floor of his girlfriend's Townsville home in June three years ago. Tasered 28 times by police, his death is now the subject of a coronial inquest. But figures show multiple taser deployments still remain high and are more than a quarter of all cases. Uh, certainly each one of those is looked at very, very carefully. We have a very strong governance process, as you all know, over each use of tasers. Since 2011, 251 people have been tasered by Queensland Police. Of those, 68 were given multiple charges and 21 were fined for more than five seconds. The majority of these people were found to be under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Certainly there have been instances where officers have been given uh, counselling and extra training uh, because of the way that uh, the taser has been used. The CMC says misuse of tasers isn't widespread. There have only been 14 allegations um, in re relation to tasers of um, over 1,000 complaints about use of force, so we are looking at a very small proportion. Taser use by Queensland's police is now at its highest point. More than 9,000 officers are qualified to use them. But the state's top cop won't be forcing officers to have the taser turned on them before being given one. Only if they voluntarily want to. The CMC is also conducting further investigation into multiple taser use by Queensland's police officers. That research will be due out in the first half of next year. The coroner will hand down his findings into Galliano's death tomorrow. Ursula Hager, 10 News.